Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Warning, I swear a lot. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back, finally, to Darkest Dungeon. So, there were two actual reasons why I put this off for as long as I did. The first reason is the one I stated publicly in multiple videos and such, which is simply, I've been playing this game like every other day for about seven months and I got fucking tired. Someone very politely pointed out, it looked or sounded like I was a little burnt out in the last video and I was like, yeah, it's kind of because I was. So when they suggested taking a break, I was like, I agree. Maybe I should take a break. I don't want to. I want to get this done. I want to finish this series. And I want to do that as quickly as possible, but I don't want to force myself through it and subsequently ruin it, I guess, is the issue. I don't know. Maybe I'm worrying about it too much. It's just a series. It's just a series of videos. It doesn't have to be the greatest thing everyone's ever seen, but I want to do it justice at the very least because I love the game so much. The second reason is out of my control and more troubling. And that reason is that I actually did record part 40 of this series before I decided to take a break. And it wouldn't load. As in, I started the Necromancer boss quest and it would not load. And I was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to try and figure something out with this then, I guess. And then I read the comments saying, maybe you should take a break. And I was like, yeah, you know what? These two events have taken place in like the same time, very serendipitously, I think this is the time to take a break. So I did, and then recently I was like, all right, I'm going to swell out that save file and get back on it. And then I couldn't load the save outside of recording either. I thought the reason I couldn't load the save was because the capture software was taking up too much processing power. But no, I couldn't load it outside of it either, which was a real oh fuck moment, <laughs> to put it bluntly. So what I've done is disabled a fuck ton of mods. All of my skin mods are now gone, and I've removed some of the hero mods of heroes that I wasn't really using because there's no point in being here. Subsequently, I also will not be adding any more mods because I need this to fucking function. So, mod suggestions are now closed. I wish I could add every single mod that anyone ever asks me to put in because I love shoving mods into games, but we have to be realistic about this. And it wasn't working. But I've already set up a team to go after the Necromancer. I already set that up. I had to load up the save file and quit that dungeon so I could come back and actually do this. We're ready to go fight the Necromancer straight up. I just hope it works this time. Necromancer Lord, King, whatever the fuck his name is, is a little different thanks to boss Cho Cho's boss reworks than it is normally, but it's not, or at least the versions I've fought, weren't ridiculously different. It was fairly manageable. Now, once again, these bosses change when you get to, like, champion level, for instance, so this could be very different now. But... We've got Joe in here, we've got the Terrapon. Shanalot and Neot are in here. Sadly, Neot has suffered a massive drip downgrade because, you know, the mods. But he's still a badass and I still love him. I think if we're careful, I think if we go into this cautiously and stick to the predetermined strategy of the Exterminator and I guess, you know, the Terrapon as well, we can do this and we can do this quite handily. But these are all words. Let's see how they actually play out. I brought my colleagues back with much of their intellect intact. A remarkable triumph for even the most experienced necromancer. Freed from the trappings of their humanity, they plied their terrible trade anew. The dead reviving the dead on and on down the years. Forever. See, this is one I don't understand. I truly don't understand his motivation here because yes, I could understand learning from these necromancers and murdering them because he would want to be the best one, sure. And yes, I guess I could understand testing his skills to see if he could do that. But the thing is, he has no plans for like domination or conquest or anything like that. So why the fuck did he establish a self-sustaining self -sustaining undead reanimation economy? Why did he set this up? For what purpose? Someone was going to notice that there was a legion of undead wandering around. And he's, as far as I can tell, he's not even in control of it. So why did he do this? I don't understand the ancestor because his actions don't have motives. Not sensible or clearly defined motives. He just does shit. Now, I'm not critiquing like the, the, the you know, writing of the character themselves. It is clearly established that the ancestor is an idiot. 
who was just doing shit because he felt like it. But I'm talking the person himself. Why did he do this? Surely he had to consider some of this. But then again, he's a rich man who dabbled in magic powers. Clear clearly, action and consequence was not a concept for him until after he shot himself, at which point it was a bit late. Oh, don't even. Oh god, no. Alright, so it's, I'm literally still having troubles with it. I just removed a fuck ton more mods. Oh boy. It's not happy. It's not having a good time. It's not pleased with what's occurring. The game's not happy. And you can tell because it keeps hitting me with traps. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. To the point where even just picking up a fucking uh, a bag, a sack of treasure is causing it to shit itself. We're going to ignore the fuck out of that. Okay, but the game seems okay right now, so it's probably fine. I don't know. Fuck, man. I'm doing my best. That was the... I actually meant to... Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. De De-stress everybody. It's all good. We're gonna make this happen, and we're gonna win, and everything's gonna be fine, and I'm gonna dazzling light you Precision with some big shit. And fuck you, stun him and all. Yeah, yeah, fuck him up, fuck him up. We are going to get this series fucking finished. Even if it's just one episode a week, we're gonna make this happen. These stupid fucking rock statue people will not get in my way. Look at him with his fucking rocks and shit. They look so stupid. They look so stupid. Especially you. Fear not, I will guard you. Fuck, I forgot they were a martyr. Oh, I need to deal with that. I need to deal with that. I need to deal with that. Fuck it. If we keep going down this line and we get um his poison out there, that should pretty much end the fight. Like, he's already dead. He's already fucked. Probably should have stunned him, actually. That would have been smarter. But she dodged it anyway, so who cares? That's fine. They can take it. They can take it. Why do you all get all your turns first? This is bullshit. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. Smoke out. Go. Devastating blow. Blight those motherfuckers. Stun that one. They're in big trouble now. Big trouble. Big heals for big boys. Neo, fucking, I don't know, man. Just do whatever you feel like. He's dead now. Even if he wasn't dead, he wouldn't be able to act. Those two are dead. You're stunned, you've come out of it, but it's too late for you now. You missed, it doesn't even matter. You're stressed, that's okay, we use the Lord of them and then we get a little bit of battlefield medicine on yourself. And then everyone gets stress healed and it's great, you love to see it. They're all just gonna die. They're all just dying, they're all just dying. Yup, yup a Rooney, yep. For now, another heal, cause why the fuck not? Just get everyone back to full. And why don't you bonk him? Good shit. Hello, accuses claw. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beat. Extract, you're seeing crit, less stress from unholy, which could be very useful. Damnation, less damage, and less virtue chance. I see. Take this. I think if we give Neot replace his commander's orders with the accuser's claw, he will never, ever go. He will never get stressed enough to go crazy because he's getting like minus. Minus 45% stress. And he also gains extra accuracy and crit chance. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Fucking do it. Excellent. Okay, things are going just fine. The game has not broken, which music to my ears. No, we don't need money. We actually don't need money. I've said it a million times. I'm going to say it a million times more. We don't need money. We just need to win. Now we've got to show them how we win. That's a bad start. Yep. Christ. It's okay. I have a plan for this. Take their turns away. Good shit. Get us set up and do some stress healing while you're at it. So fucking beautiful. This strategy means the game practically plays itself. Don't give a fuck. You're worse. The combination of a heavy blight stun pie literally does mean that these fights will often end up playing themselves, I think. Lands a crit. It's a shame he was already stunned, but you just stunned that one again, which is just beautiful. Actually fantastic. I mean, you won't blight enough to kill, but do a 
Yeah, fuck it. Just make sure they go down. We're not going to get through fights without taking any hits, but we can at least murder them as quickly as possible. And you know what? We're doing a pretty fucking good job of that. No chance. I'm coming in here with the real strategies, the real tactics, the biggest boy plays. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. And you will continue to see it. Why? Don't you? He's going to die. He's not. He is now. Now he's dead. She's the only one who can still do things. Should we perhaps, I don't know, stop her from doing things? Oh, how gosh. Now she can't do anything. What a fucking moron. No chance. She's already dead. Omaiwa Moishindo. A fucking weeb. Oh, I'm having a good time already. I'm having a good time already. Get rid of that. Take that. Uh, don't need the rest of this shit. Fuck it. Not opening that. Don't care. The exploration aspects of this game are entirely meaningless to us right now. We are here to win. You can't stop Joe. He's fucking unstoppable. Actually terrifying. An experienced fucking professional. Well worth the money we pay him. We don't pay him anything. Concern yourself not with the cost of this crusade. <laughs> I don't think there are many things here that can actually pose a threat. What the f- Is that a treasure chest? Are you actually telling me that a treasure chest can't load in properly? Is that what you're saying to me right now? Are you fucking serious? He's very resistant to stun. She wouldn't make it happen, so just blight him. See if we can kill him as quickly as possible. Sanitize, keep stress down. His stress is non-existent, he don't give a fuck. Not even with that unloaded texture in the middle of the room, he doesn't care. Why would he care? He's a professional, he's seen worse. He's cleaned bathrooms at a fast food place. He knows what it's like. De-stealth, please. A blazing star is born. Don't give a fuck. He can't be stealthed because I took it away from him. But he does have a massive damage boost, so let's Actually, you could guard... It doesn't matter if he guards people. Actually, it doesn't matter because we blight the entire party, so who gives a fuck? You wanna... Yeah, you wanna guard someone? Yeah, you wanna guard someone? You bitch? You wuss? You nerd? I don't care. Pepperidge Farm don't care. Whatever. We'll probably get... Uh, maybe do some stress relief, though. That'll probably be good. Boom. Well struck. Why do you keep critting the ones who are already st stunned, you fool? Professional indeed. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> that's no good at all. That's scary. Um, fuck it. Why don't you stun him? Go for it. Oh. Their resistance is starting to crumble. It sure fucking is. Why don't you do a little stress relief? Yeah, lovely. You'll love to see it. Slow death. Unforeseen. Whatever, nerd. Unforgiving. Oh no, he's gonna die uh, and he fucking missed because he's a stupid idiot. And oh no, now he's stunned because he's a stupid idiot. Fuck you. Absolutely done him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Sit down, little man, you're nothing. And now he's actually very dead. Why don't you heal everyone? Everyone's back to full. Why don't you stress heal her? Could probably do with it, actually. Excellent. As the fiend falls. Beautiful. Couldn't have asked for more. Truly could not have asked for more. It's fine. What is that, actually? It is a treasure ship. The most basic curio in the game, and it can't load it right now. I don't understand, and it concerns me. But I'm electing to ignore it. We can skip that fight, and we're going to. Can you imagine if the Necromancer Lord himself does not load in and is just a giant white texture? I'm so fucking stupid and I fear it would ruin everything. Oh my god, what is this? I don't know what it is. The hero's history of sin. I don't- I guess it was the confession booth? I don't know, I can't fucking tell. I'm so confused. I don't know what mod I could have turned off that is possibly affecting these things in such a way. Or if that's indeed the a reason. Spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Just flail your arms. I don't know. Fuck it. Do whatever you want. I ain't your dad. You would have made a good soldier in another life. Eh, yeah, Viterapon's more of a thinker, not a not a soldier. As the light gains purchase. Spirits hey, at least the box loaded in. That's cool. Made clear. At least that loaded in. That's cool. Can anyone actually, uh, 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 I guess you can. 
and you should. All right, we're going in for the big play, ladies and gentlemen. It's the big fight. Let's fucking do this. God, I hope this doesn't go like the siren initially did. That would be a huge fucking downer if ever I've seen one. Get in there, lads. Make it happen. Look at that stupid nerd. I'm so glad his texture's loaded in. They grew weaker with every strike. Good, handy. Minus five accuracy and dodge. Okay, well, she can't do much else at the moment. So just blight. Oh, fuck. That's a good start. Less accuracy. Seven damage per turn for five turns. Sanitize us. Let's go. Let's do this now. If Renault gets his turn, which he didn't, could have stunned him, but he didn't. What are you realigning your bones for? Bring out your dad. <laughs> That's what I thought it said. And he goes back to the third position. Okay, and we can't really do anything about him right now. Can at least stun you to pretend, prevent any protection shit going on. And just stunning them in general, taking away their turns, will help us. You're already... It'd be more important if you go on with stunning them. Take Literally, all we need to do is just take their turns away and blight them over and over again, and we got this. A decisive bubbling. This will work. And indeed, if uh, the Terrapon could blight both of them for even more blight... Oh, yes. 20 damage per turn. None too shabby. 115% stun resist. This does 140% stun base. She doesn't have any buffs to her stun chance because we don't have the Salacious Diary set. We could just try and stun him. Just throw it out, see if it works. May as well. Does damage. Nah. But these guys will probably die before they get to do anything anyway if we keep doing smokes out. The fact that you missed does not bode well for your little team. You're fine, Viterapon. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. It's all good. We are going to literally take them apart. Now, they can't currently be stunned, so why don't you do that? Because you're marked anyway, but now you gain a protection bonus. A rather hefty one as well, actually. Dead. Do it again. I fucking love it when he does that. Oh, it's beautiful. He's dead. He's on his way out. You're taking damage. Who are you resurrected? I see. Not much was really gained by their side, which is music to my ears. Uh, play grenade. Just fuck them up. 38 damage per round. Now, obviously, that's not going to be the remaining three rounds because different amounts of damage is running out at different intervals. But still, next action he gets, he will take 38 damage, which is fucking stupid. Actually, if you bonk him... He will die this turn. Wabams! Give them no quarter. Oh, if only he'd had his turn next, then we could have stunned him, but that's not a big deal. We'll just stun this guy instead. Wham! He's dead on his next turn. Continue Fucking shit! Necromancer Lord don't Destroy have nothing! Them I think you should smoke out again. Oh, and he did. 47 damage per round. Let's see how high we can get that to go. Four, and then 62 damage per round. Oh, 120% blight received. I forgot his, his fucking thing increases the blight amount they receive. This is dumb. This is absurd. Bonk him, it's funny. Oh God. This is gonna be like a third of his remaining health. Oh my God. How did the game even load that? Now, this all counts as the same action, so he doesn't suffer repeatedly, which I have to say is fair because he's suffering so much right now. Bam, 14 crit. He didn't get stunned, but it gave him something to think about. 54 damage. Next one will be 40. Why? Oh, as he takes more damage here, he summons new parties, I see. But we're doing so much fucking damage to him that... Shit, he's just, he can't deal with it. It's too much for him. And we're going to keep doing more. 48, we're back up to 48. Do that. 55. I doubt you can stun him, but fucking try. Oh, wow. Stunned. They actually have nothing. They literally have nothing. See, I just realized too late that he wouldn't be able to stun, she wouldn't be able to stun him. But that's fine. It doesn't even matter. He will literally die on his next action. Now he won't because he siphoned life. 
You only know, recovered 10, so fuck it. Just... He will probably die on his next act. Yeah, he died on his next action. Even Holy shit. Can fall. Fucking bye. Thanks for playing, dumbass. Book of Sanity, that's boring. Rubies, less boring. Blueprint, always nice. And we're out. Another boss done. We're gonna burn through these each time, I swear to you. I have decided... Hopefully this will ring true when we get back to the hamlet. But I've decided I'm not going to do Crimson Court exploration on the show anymore because it's fucking boring. You know it. I know it. I'm literally going to explore the Crimson Courtyard off camera and keep doing that until I find the boss and then retreat. And then we will fight the boss on camera. I have ceased faffing around on this show anymore when it comes to this specific thing because we're on part 40 and... The series needs to end before part 50. That's what I want. That's my goal. Before part 50, this will be over. I will have done everything. Within reason. We can round it off. Everyone will be happy. Windows and oh. doors will be bolted. Tonight, something haunts the dark. As one man put it, something ain't right with them shadows moving and twisting as they do. Residents are advised to stay indoors until daybreak. Stress relief is less effective. Well, we didn't really suffer any stress, so who fucking cares? Certainly not I. Oh, the gibbering prophet. You know, I actually forgot about them. I would like to go after the brigand 16 pounder. I think I have an idea of how we could deal with them. Maybe not husking bomb if we're going to the world because that place is scary. Instead, we'll give him the occult eye so he can pick on stealth targets. Okay. Noyers, 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 you're going to be all about hard damage. Hard, hard damage. We'll get him that because it just helps him stay alive a little bit. And then the rest is going to be hard damage. God, I don't even remember what half this shit does. It's been a while. Oh, boy. I think I'm taking a bit of a chance with this party because it's not... There's not a specific, like, clever strategy in mind. This is just big damage and heals. But it should be okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I might want to perhaps retreat if things really don't go according to plan. We're good to go. Let's fucking get in there. Eager to end the tiresome domestic distraction, I instructed my newly formed militia of hardened bandits, brigands, and killers to go forth and do their work. Compliance and order were restored and the noisome population of the hamlet was culled to more manageable numbers. See, that one makes sense from a purely pragmatic perspective, but uh, the morals, uh, the morals, uh, the moral questionability is quite high. And also, now there are a bunch of bandits running around who are not being paid by anyone and are just fucking everything up, so... <sighs> whatever, whatever, whatever. No one wants to hear me complain about the ancestor anymore. I get it. But he's so fucking stupid. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. Let's have a look at the map real quick. It's fairly quiet to begin with. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it's there. Obviously, it's there. Like, I could try and be optimistic, but that's clearly where it is. And it's quite far away, and this is going to be a whole thing. This is actually something we want to investigate, because food is good. Yes, excellent. Because if an expedition is going she, we can still pull it back by having enough food to heal in between battles. And we have a lot of food. It does feel like it's running a lot more smoothly now. I guess I just took on too many mods. Way too many mods. Measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. It's certainly not you guys' fault. I appreciate all of the suggestions for mods because 99% of them have been absolutely wonderful. But I, as the <laughs> purveyor and overseer of this series, should have known better and should have perhaps taken note when it really started to struggle. It is entirely my fault that this went as bad as it did. Oh god, Talons. This is gonna be an issue. Yeah, it sure is. Oh boy. Alright guys, don't worry about it. We're gonna sort it out, it's gonna be great. Get this going. Honestly, some damage right now would be pretty good. 
If you could kill him, which you did, because he does big damage per shot. Maintain the offensive. Bad damage was less good. I don't appreciate that. Transforming attack. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, they get most of their attacks first. Ah, oh, stumble. Oh, well, that's actually fine. <laughs> that actually worked out great. Don't know if you noticed, but it did. Oh, no. Ooh, that was an exchange. That was a fucking exchange. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we refer to in the industry as an exchange. How's that? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Much better. You're a pain. Oh, God, you're a pain. Such a pain. That's fine. This works. <laughs> they accidentally sealed their own fate. That's fun. Another fight. Let's see what we got. Aha. Uh -huh. I forgot how much I feared that thing. I now remember how much I fear that thing. At least Dismas won't get knocked out. Can't use Abyssal Artillery because there's technically nothing there. Absolutely pulverize him, my dude. Good start. 10 damage on marking shot is quite a thing. Oh my god, that we have we have fucked up. We have fucked up. We have fucked up. We fucked up hard. Oh no. Oh no. And also port miss every single counter. Every single counter was a miss. It was a miss. Get rid of it. Continually onslaught. It needs to go. Noel, please. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh God. He's still alive. He can't heal himself, but he can get rid of his bleed. Airing runs red. Oh, I am aware. Stun resistances? You could stun one of them potentially. Do you have any bonuses to stun? No. Fuck. It's okay. Eric's gonna be fine. I'm dealing with it. Impressive. At least he's stealthed. I just realized he's stealthed. Youch. He's okay. Wrecked. That's good. That's healing. It helps. Eric's great. For a blind strike, that sure did do a lot of damage. Fuck him up. Fuck them all up. Make him die. Oh, God. Beautiful. Champion falls. Good. And now Port is back. Everything's fine. Eric's... I don't even know what you were worried about. I wasn't worried about nothing. Good well, shit. Fuck. There we go. Okay, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's good. See, we dealt with it. Oh, hello. That's nice. We had some troubles, but we dealt with it. Now, if I'm right, yes. Noel can remove mortality debuffs. She reduces Torchlight by 100, but if we get there quick enough, that won't be an issue. And I feel like we probably will get there quick enough, so should be fine. But who boy, that was a whole thing. Let's just make sure you're okay. Ah! Uh, <sighs> I hate them. I hate them so much. The ground quakes. God damn you and everything about you. At the very least, if Noyes gains stress, he gets stronger. He does more damage. And sure enough, he just gained a point of damage. He's going to gain a lot of damage by the end of this, probably. Huh. Could remove those. That'd be really good. Thank you. Obliterated. Could you crush that thing? Yes. But you didn't because you missed because it was a 66% chance. I did see that. Port, that was beautiful. Literally couldn't have asked for more from Port in that exact moment than what he did. Dead. As the fiend We're not playing falls, around. The fiend We're not. Blossoms. We're not playing around. Fuck. Can you stun him? Please stun him. Oh god, well at least he's bleeding. But if he does his uh, dismissal and summons a fuck ton of- Oh god, no. Don't summon the sycophants, don't do it. Don't do it, you little screw. I swear to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, sweet baby, merciful Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, that's less good, but it will deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Kill? Thank you. Decimated. Now that little bugger is nowhere to run. It's us and you now, you little shit. 
Oh, look at that, you're dying. Ugh. Perfect. Actually perfect. Literally couldn't have asked for more. That was beautiful. Mary, triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Everything is going fantastically. We had a couple close shaves and it was a little rough, but we're, we're making our way through. We're making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and we're homebound. It's going well so far. There's going to be more fights between here and there. Of course there are, but we're getting through. Ah! Uh, uh. Mind that such missteps are the exception mm. and not the rule. What's in this stupid thing? I want to see. Oh, jute tapestry. Oh, oh. Yeah, get rid of those. Grab some of that. Don't need that. We do need that. It is going quite well, actually. I'm still terrified that the capture's breaking or something because there's always something with this goddamn series. I love it so much, but Jesus Christ. It is not an easy series to run. We're running out of food, but that's okay. We'll make it. We'll make it. Stop it, I implore you. Ancient traps lie in wait. Don't do that. Okay, all right. It worked out. Hey, we got another shovel. I didn't realize we actually needed more shovels, but we do. So that's really good. Spiders. I hate them. Ew. I don't like them. Oh. Fuck, poor. Why are you critting so much? You're an absolute legend. I love you. I was wondering if you wanted to go to the movies with me. Poor, because you're so cool. Wow. A singular strike. Yeah, you guys health back. Yeah, it was good. Uh, one fight in between us and the boss, but we'll have, we'll have been rested. Port won't be on um, death recovery anymore. He'll be fine. Everything is fucking solid. Give me that torch. I love it. The light, the promise of safety. The promise of safety, and that's what I'm all about on this show. The promise of safety, security, non-stressful videos, obviously ASMR all day. Uh, I do not have an ASMR voice. Maybe I could if I put the work in, but I don't. Good, good. Plenty of blood left to shed this day. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Holds dominion. Black as death. We're good. No worries. Oh, this looks bothersome. This 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 image that you see on the screen right now screams bothersome. Going well though. She's already having pain. I like that. Scamper. You guys like do you guys like mark targets? I can't remember what your deal is. Doesn't matter. We have our strategy. We're going to follow through with it. Take you out. If we take both of these things out straight away, that will just remove their ability to replenish their numbers. Ho, oh, don't do it. Oh my god. I know that seemed out of sync. My brain is trying its best. Get out of it. Unfortunately, that leaves a corpse. It's really annoying. Oh boy. Ah, well, that was an exchange. Ah, that's a non-repostable attack. How annoying. This is convenient, though. Goodbye. Thank you, Noel. I appreciate you very much. I'm sorry I did a Snowgrave run. I didn't mean to. It's, I was curious. And, uh, bloody dead. Good. Oh wait, before we continue, yeah, 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 yeah. Sort you out real quick, lad, don't worry about it. Fucking... I am a good expedition leader. I look after my people, mostly. All right, we're here. We're getting ready. We're strong. We're going in. He's been healed. Everything's good. I can't... I don't think we can pre prepare for this any more than we already have. So primary focus. Kill the Fusilier. Secondary focus. Do damage to the cannon. I don't care if this fight goes on for an hour. As long as we win. And that is what we have to do in order to win. Here we fucking are. Technology. An engine of destruction. An engine of your mother. Wow. Decisive Good start. Good start. Good start, lad. Well done. You miss because you're an idiot. 
did cleave, you could hit both. Oh, the 16 pounder has way less uh, armor than I thought it did. That's good. Now it's always gonna be summoning reinforcements, so I'm not sure how useful it is. Ah, the cutthroats are an issue. What if, you could kill them in one. You didn't, but you could have. Uh, uh, don't like that. Go on, poor, sort him out. Now, if uh, this is a bit of a risk. Oh, you don't have grape shot. Okay, well that takes that decision away from me then. Dead. Wait, that buffs them? He has restoration, so we want to make sure that each shot is a kill. And it, and it was, and it did, and it was good, and I was happy. You could literally kill him right now. Do it. And he's dead. Wow, big help. Big help. Now smack it. Good smack. It doesn't actually have a lot of health for the kind of boss that it is, which is very good. Now, how many do you summon? Ah, oh, too few slit. Oh, whoa. So they've set it up. I see. That's actually a, that's actually pretty good. They've set it up so that it has those two fusiliers and it's guaranteed a cannon shot. But that first cannon shot, I think, is not so bad. But it allows the cannon itself to actually apply some pressure because you would often get to the point in this boss fight where you're simply just murdering fusiliers and slowly whittling down the cannon. Whereas now, it actually fights back which is actually quite good. It makes it harder, of course it does, that's the whole fucking point. But that's actually good design. I'm not just doing this because I bitched about Cho's rework so much and I got self-conscious about it. I genuinely think this is actually decent design. I think that makes a lot of sense. Good job. This boss is, I mean, we haven't fucking finished yet, so maybe I'll, I'll be chill for now, but good job, good job, actually. If you stun that guy, surely he can't do his thing. Yeah, surely he can't light the torch if he's stunned, which means we could just focus on killing this. You missed, it's a stationary object. I don't really know how you missed, but whatever. I just realized that it's pointless to stun him because all Dismas can really do is kill, but maybe we can buff him for the rest of the battle. It's a good idea. We're setting ourselves up. If, like, I can see what the potential bad design choice would have been that they could have done here, which would have been, have that happen, but the cannon still does full damage. That would be outrageous. But instead, they lowered the damage but made the shot more likely to happen, or in some cases guaranteed to happen, so that it is actually a fight. That's why I like it, because it makes sense and makes it more of a battle rather than just slapping this thing till it falls over. Lest y'all think I'm a little, I don't know, hypocritical or something. Maybe I am, maybe I am, but I actually approve of this. Oh yeah, you can't debuff it because it has ultimate resistances. I did forget about this. That's good. Now, Dismas, I'm going to need you to shine right now, but... Dismas, what the fuck, man? Dismas, you fool! Dis... Oh. Good. Alright, well, that's helpful. Dismas, you fool! Okay, we need to focus on killing that thing first, no matter what. Also, he's padded. Wow. Enjoy I like that, actually. This makes... This is a whole thing. It adds elements to the fight. I'm probably going to hate this later on. I'm saying how much I like it now. That's probably not going to last, but... How are you still alive? What are you doing? What? What the f... I don't... What? I don't... What? Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. What? Well, you're gonna get retal- Oh god, the Fuseman! Interesting. And he retaliates. But we have a way around this. Now, Dismas, I need you to pull it out more than you have been. There we go. This makes, I think, personally, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe it's- maybe pe people's tastes are different, but I think this makes the fight a lot more tactical. There's the impression I'm getting anyway. It's still not too difficult when you've got the right shit, but it doesn't feel unfair or, or bullshit or desperately trying to make the boss hard. It just makes it feel more like a measured strategic encounter. 
I don't know. Maybe it may... I'm obsessing over it too much. I'll leave it alone now, but... Good job. Well done. Fuck. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Yikes. If you lower the damage he's doing, that'd be very helpful. Mortality it actually didn't make a fucking a difference, spike. but you know, I had good intentions. Oh, boy. There are only one Fusilier. That's not so bad. But we are starting to take some damage. So I may want to start getting back on the healing. You get on the graft. You're not even fit to graft. Fuck you. Oh, yes. Youch. That's okay. We've got you covered, buddy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do a little cleave. A little cleave. And he'll die next turn, which is excellent. And then you just heal him so he doesn't die. He's back to full. He's feeling great. great there he goes. The weapon that cuts on its own. He'll summon another Fusilier, but honestly, Dismas has been on top of this. Okay, are they going to get a free shot? Yeah, they're getting a free shot. Okay. Boom. Oh, wow. Good shot. Wow, poor. Wow, poor. Oh, that was a good hit. The abyss returns. The boldest, the boldest gaze. gaze. Oh fuck, he's still alive. He's still alive. That is a bit of an issue, actually. We should make sure. We don't want to throw this away by getting too cocky. We want to make sure we win this. Oh, he regenerates as well. Oh fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boom. Ooh. We're okay, we're okay. They actually made this fight relatively decent. I'm shocked. Truly, I am. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Just tap it, I guess. Oh, I got an Aegis. Interesting. I wonder if he'll get... Oh, no, the Fuseman. The Pyro got the Aegis. Interesting. Good way to get rid of that. And also heal some stress. Now Dismas can still go for it. Confluence of skill and purpose. Yeah, we want to focus on killing it because pressure is starting to mount, and we need it. We need it to go. Break down. Does that just mean it's dead? Okay. Twisted metal. We still have to win the fight, though. In at home amongst the headstones. I'm worried that the pyro can fix it. So let's make sure he doesn't. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a choice I got to make. Don't fix it. I swear to... Huh? Oh, I see. Okay. I, I had this sudden fear in my soul that it was going to be like repair work and it just repairs the fucking cannon and then I was going to freak out hard. But I think we're good. I think we're good. I think everything's okay. Uh, I think... Dismas could do some healing just in case. Don't want this to end in tragedy unnecessarily. Of course, he gets an attack before the end. He's going to shank port. It didn't work. Thank Christ. Just take him out. I'm sick of this. There we go. That went quite well, actually. Genuinely shocked. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? There we go. Oh my God, that's the worst one yet. Actually, this one's happened before, but it's still not good. Ugh. It's going to be a little janky from here on out, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Just because of how many mods I've had and then how many I took away, the game's going to struggle to compensate a little bit. And we're just going to have to kind of accept it. If we want this to be finished and for me to not fucking start again, and I think I'd rather hack off one of my own limbs than start this series again right now. I'm not saying I'd be opposed to Darkest Dungeon series in the future, but I want this one done. We're just going to have to deal with a little bit of jank. Just a little bit of jank. It's okay. We'll get past it together. But we're making solid process. Process. Oh, words time, are hard. You will know the tragic extent of my failing. We're making solid progress on these bosses. Yes, we are. The world is now finished. No more bosses in the world. The Warrens is finished. No more bosses in the Warrens. We have the Gibbering Prophet and the Drowned Crew to deal with. 
Once we've done those, we still have the Crimson Courtyard bosses to deal with. We still have to kill the Doomwheel Prototype and then the upgraded Storm Fiend, wherever the champion version of that is. And we still need to deal with the Wretched Plague Priest. The Plague Priest will probably be its own video, because I imagine that being quite long, but I'll play it by ear. Once we've gotten rid of these things, we're off to the Darkest Dungeon itself. So the end is in sight, ladies and gentlemen. It really fucking is. We're actually quite close. I imagine the Darkest Dungeon will be two, maybe three episodes. We're getting there. It's gonna happen. And I want to thank all of you, not just for watching, although I do thank you so much for watching, but I thank you for sticking with this series for as long as you have. And for all your kind words, all of your support, all of your advice. I've said this or some variation of it many times before, but it definitely bears repeating at least one more time. Deltarune Chapter 2 was the most successful thing that I have done so far in my career, and it has definitely led, I think, I don't actually know the numbers myself, but I think it has led to the most growth in subscribers and what have you. And I, I'm like, I don't just look at Deltarune that way. I loved Deltarune. I loved playing Deltarune Chapter 2. I loved doing the Snowgrave. I did all that because I wanted to. I was not expecting it to take off. It's like why I'm doing Elden Ring. It's because I love Elden Ring. I love playing it. That's not taking off, and I didn't expect it to, because small channels trying to jump on a big hype thing never works out, ever. Don't bother. Do stuff you want to do, like Darkest Dungeon. The only reason I stopped was because I burned myself out on it. It's my fault. I should have spaced it out a bit more. I didn't. I haven't even fucking touched Fire Emblem in, like, several months, but that's fine. No one cares about that one, so who cares? But Darkest Dungeon feels like my biggest, most naturally occurring success. It feels like people just sort of showed up and were like, oh, cool, I like Darkest Dungeon, and then people started to get involved, and they got involved with the series, and now this series is as much a product of you guys as it is of me. That, and that's why I don't want to just... I didn't want to just leave it. If this had been most other series, I would have just left it when I got burned out. I'd just been like, fuck it, I'm out, I've done enough. There are plenty of unfinished series on this show. No one cared about them, so I was like, eh, fuck it. But this this is a community effort. We all work together on this, or at least that's what it feels like. That's why I want to be it. Not just because the game is exceptional, it is, but that's the main motivation for me. It's why I want to keep doing this. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience in me having taken a break. These will probably be like once a week now. Someone made that suggestion and I think it's a good one. Probably do these once a week. I give you guys something to look forward to, something to check back for, and I won't burn myself out again and become boring again. I think it's a good idea. I think we're gonna finish Dark Dungeon, and while I will definitely wanna take a break from it once this series is over, I do have one more idea for this game to be doing in the nearby future, but that will be then, this is now, for the third, fourth, fifth, twelfth, I don't know, and final time, thank you so much for watching, whatever happens next time, and we have plenty to choose from, I will start working away at the Crimson Courtyard in my off time, but whatever happens, I hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.